So that when we see them later on, you get used to what's going on. All right, so let's first talk about S prime of T. Because remember, we find S prime of the variable before you stick numbers in. You didn't want to do that with the table, but it still works the same way. What is S prime of T? Evaluate that where? At four. S prime. At four. Cassidy. Unless you are actually helping him with specific problems. No, because he's got to play catch up. So we have negative 9.8 times four plus 25. What do you get? Negative 39.2 plus 25 equals negative 14.2. What are the units of my answer? I need you to remember, a derivative is a rate of change, right? So whenever you do units for your derivative, it should be something per something, because that's the rate. Rates are always something per something, right? What was changing? The seconds were changing. What else was changing? The feet. So it is in feet per second. And you can abbreviate. Feet per second. F-T, S-E-C, or F-T over S, however you want to abbreviate. The question is, what does this mean? That means that's just... It was probably going at a different angle and at a different height. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, what we're going to do with the interpret the meaning, you're going to answer these questions. Keep in mind, all right, come on with it. Keep in mind, you are talking about a rate. You are talking about a rate. But if we're talking about velocity, then we can talk about having negative value. What is changing? What is changing? In reference to this problem, what is changing? In reference to this problem, I don't want like function. I need you to tell me something in words. What is changing? The Thank you so much. The position of the orange or the height of the orange is changing. Okay? I need it in reference to that problem. The height or the position of the orange is changing. How is it changing? And the way you determine how it's changing is by looking at the sign of your answer. So therefore, the orange is what? Going down or falling. That's going to tell me it's negative. So that's what I'm going to say. The orange, that's what's changing. The orange. And how is it changing? It is 
falling or going down, however you want to say it. What word do you want to use? It's falling. It's falling. And then one of the most important words you need to always use when describing or interpreting a derivative is at a rate. That word better be in your explanation. That word better be in your explanation. When you are describing or interpreting a derivative, a derivative is a rate, so rate needs to be somewhere in your explanation, okay? Falling at a rate of what? Careful. When you use this word right here, that took care of the negative. When you said falling, that was negative. Thank you. So if you say falling at a rate of negative, it's almost saying a double negative. You don't want to do that. Falling is the negative. Falling at a rate of 14.2 feet per second. When is that change happening? At four, at, four. At four seconds. Because if you choose a different time, it may be falling at a different rate. If you think about it, when you first drop something, oh, okay. <laughs> Everything falls, does the rate stay the same? Because what's affecting the rate that something is falling? Gravity. gravity. And gravity is pulling it faster and faster the closer it gets to the ground. So if you choose a different time, you're going to get a different rate, correct? Yeah. So that's why you have to be specific about when that rate is happening. So again, if you're interpreting the meaning of a derivative, you need to tell me what is changing in reference to the problem. I don't need to hear about the function S of T. I need, they're going to tell me something, of an orange or a honeybee or a bird. Or, something is changing. What is changing? Okay? The position of this orange is changing. Or the height of the orange is changing. The orange is falling, and that's how it is changing. At a rate of, and I need the rate. Why do I need the word rate? Because I'm describing a derivative. It's the most important word when you're describing a derivative. A rate. At a rate of 14.2 feet per second, and I need to know when that change is happening. At four seconds. At four seconds. Are you with me? So if you didn't write those questions and underline the important words, you're going to have some trouble when you have to describe it on a homework problem. Okay? In other words, make sure you have those questions written down for the interpretation. The free response questions on the AP exam are full of interpret the meaning of your answers. Full of those types of questions.